here's the question that I have on that. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation, we'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, th and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. This uh, uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? Hey guys, my name is DeVore Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to another woke take, deranged take, unhinged take from known other, right? <laughs> Probably the best in the business at doing things like this is Joy Reid. And basically what she is doing before we get into playing the video is she's basically comparing the President Biden's COVID response and if he can, you know, come back and be healed and be stronger, that that is as equal as Donald Trump being almost assassinated and him raising his fists in the air. I mean, it just sounds ridiculous of me even saying that out loud, but she's riding with it. So let's actually take a look at what she said. Before we do, you know what to do, like, share, and subscribe. Let's play the video. That he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly- look, look at Jen's face when she realizes what Joy Reid is doing, right? Look at this, look at this, look. Should be called Deranged Reid. That should be her new name. Look at that, look at that. Look at her face. She's like, what? Right? And you know what? I have a theory. I wonder if you guys agree with me on this. I believe that MSNBC lets Joy Reid push the line so much because she's black. I think if MSNBC fired her for some of the inflammatory comments she made, I bet they would be uh, a bit scared of the, the, the backlash, right? Now, CNN did not have any problems firing Don Lemon, who's gay and black. But I'm not too sure MSNBC has the same balls as CNN does. I don't know. That, that's just my theory. I think they let her get away with some stuff and not because they like her, but I think they tolerate her. And she's been, you know, in the heat uh, quite a few times with that network be before. But uh, yeah, let's just look at her face. I mean, she's like, what is this lady saying? And Trump to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? It, it should. I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same incident, but it's all it's an elderly man it, coming through out of an illness. Yeah, you just saw that. So, I mean, what can one say except that she's just insane? Yeah, she she's insane. They are insane. Uh, you want an example of what bias really looks like? Just look her up in the dictionary, right? I mean, her face would be there. And again, you know, she has some crazy takes. There's no uh, <laughs> doubt about that. But if you thought that was crazy, why don't you check out this clip? We still don't know for sure whether Donald Trump was hit by a bullet, whether he was hit by glass fragments, whether he was hit by shrapnel. We don't have those details. We actually have no details from his physician, even though this man is still a Secret Service protected, you know, and... We don't have any details. What, what exact details are you talking about? The, the details that, you know, the, the bullet pierced through his ear uh, and that, you know, there was blood and that he went to the hospital and that he got patched up. I mean, and that it, it wasn't a teleprompter. It was the actual bullet itself and that the uh, shooter was on the top of a sloped roof that the Secret Service claims they would never put a counter sniper unit there and that it happened at 6, 11 p.m., and that, you know, uh, they rushed him and, and held him down on the ground and waited for the all clear, and then they moved him into the vehicle and got him out of there within, like, 20 seconds. I mean, what, what, like, what details are you alluding to? As It's like you're, you're what are you trying to say that it's, it, it's staged? I mean, what are, you, what are you really saying here? You know, and pres presidential candidate, we knew almost nothing. Why? 
Why don't we know that much? We know that three people were shot. One person, unfortunately, was killed at the rally. We don't know where they were sitting or standing relative to him. Uh, yeah, we do. It's on video. What are you talking about? They dragged him out. There's video footage showing people. There's four people. You know, one person was on one leg, one person on another leg, one, one was on an arm, and the, the other person was on the other arm, and dragged him out of there. What are you talking about? And the person who was injured was also, it's all on footage. She, she's deranged. That, that is her problem. Where they were sitting or standing relative to him. We don't know why, for nine full seconds, Donald Trump oh. was allowed to stand she's back counting. up during an active shooting. He was allowed to stand up. Interesting. Okay, so how are they going to get him off the stage if he didn't stand up? Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to figure that one out. An active shooter situation after they said all clear. So if they say all clear, you know, you want to get him out of there as quickly as possible, right? And he told him, them to wait, right? So an active shooter situation even though they at that point had said the shooter the shooter was down how would have they know how would they, would they have known if there were more shooters or not i'm sorry i have to stop this again i'm just noticing do you see what her shirt looks like it's a black superman so yeah that's that's who we're dealing with here nobody knew that there could have been five shooters for all they knew yet they allowed him to stand up in the middle of that you know crisis and pose for a photo. Oh, pose, pose. And fist pump the air God. so he could get the iconic photo. And then they allowed him to stand up again outside of the SUV instead of just shoving him into the SUV. Well, he is 6'4". He's, he's a tall person. I mean, he, like him bending down doesn't look like, like he's bending down. He's taller than most people. <laughs> I mean, he's taller than the Secret Service agents that was with him, by the way. So that absolutely has something to do with it, if you ask me. And the whole posing for a photograph. See, this is what I'm saying, people. You know, it's it's OK. Let's go full screen on this really quick. It is OK for us to disagree uh, politically with our, even our religion, how we choose to parent, how we choose to live our lives. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's what's great about our country is the freedom of speech. However, I do think it is sick and, and deranged when people get to a level where it's no longer about disagreeing with policies. It's more about trying to find any little thing you can to degrade someone. Tr trying to find any... It doesn't even matter if what you're saying is true. As long as, as, long as you can... Put this person down, degrade, minimize whatever is happening to your own sick benefit, right? And that's who she represents in this country, people who think that way, right? There are plenty of people out there that think just like her um, that really have not shown any type of sympathy or any level of empathy, even for the person who had died and lost his life, the firefighter, because they're so deranged and stuck on Donald Trump and they can't help but find ways to get off on um, minimizing him and any little thing that happened to him, even if it's on a basic human level, a tragedy. That seems really unusual. What is the actual injury to Donald Trump's ear that's under that bandage? Shouldn't we know that by now? It's weird. What's more important, knowing the injury that he has on his ear or why the hell and how the shooter got on that roof in the first place? I think there's a hierarchy of priorities. And what she's talking about is low on the priority list, even if I was to agree with her. You think I care less about where where exactly did the bullet pierce uh, Donald Trump's ear? Like, was it like, you know, uh, two inches from this part of his ear? And, and how did the doctor treat it? I don't care. I don't. Who gives a shit about that? What, what, what about the shooter? What about the bigger issue? The pol the, 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 the the politics that have absolutely corrupted the Secret Service. Their inability to protect a former president. Why are you not bitching about that? You want answers, but these questions and that, that you're having, you won't get those answers if you can't even get to get the answers for why the Secret Service couldn't even prevent this in the first place. 
And there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of curiosity about it, <laughs> you know, in the sort of media world, you know, my profession. Yeah, because they're weird, not deranged right? as Where you. Where are the FOIAs? What, why isn't the New York Times, like, aggressively pursuing his medical record? Because they're not stupid like you. That's why. I mean, they're all fake media. We all know this. They all do things to their own benefit to get clicks. But she's just grasping at straws at this point. She's desperate. She has to find a way to get off on just finding ways to stick it to uh, Trump and the MAGA movement. And any way that she can, she will find it. It's, it's just weird. Just just a strange thing. Just a strange thing that I've noticed. And I, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, too. But it's weird. Yeah, it's it's definitely weird. I find it definitely weird that some um, journalists or anchor on MSNBC would be spending more time trying to figure out where the bullet hit Donald Trump on his ear and why haven't she seen the medical records as if she's some medical doctor and she deserves to see them. Uh, lady, you don't deserve to see anything that happened to a former president. It's not your business to know. Now, I would imagine that the Secret Service and why security failed that day yeah, I think that should be public business. I think the public should know. I think the public should feel confident that the leaders that they support are going to be protected. doesn't matter if you're on the right or the left. doesn't matter if you even follow any of this or not. I don't think you want to wake up in the morning and hear news about an attempted assassination on a former president. And I definitely don't believe that people are waking up in the morning trying to figure out, okay, where exactly did the bullet pierce uh, Donald Trump's ear. Where where exactly was that? I don't think anyone gives a shit about that, you know. And I think this speaks to her level of derangement and what's really wrong with her. You know, I I, I want to stop there because at this point I'm just gonna keep ranting it over and over and over again, um, and I want to keep my sanity intact. But this is my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about her crazy reaction? Her ridiculous takes about the Trump rally and the attempted assassination and her obsession, right? I, I mean, I can't think sometimes like, what would they do if Donald Trump didn't exist? I mean, they would have nothing to talk about, right? But hey, why don't you answer this and more in the comment section below? Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you guys in the next one.